The Lakers are 13-20 and 20 right now, and I have five minutes to save their season. The only setting I changed is recently signed and recently traded restrictions are off, and I'm going to try to rebuild this team in just five minutes to make them NBA champions. The first player I'm going to look at trading is Russell Westbrook. He's been in Lakers trade rumors for the longest, so I thought this only made sense. And I considered a trade for Kevin Porter Jr., but ultimately I decided against it and went after a longtime trade target for the Lakers, Miles Turner. After trading away Westbrook in two firsts, we were able to make it happen. Then I looked at trading Lonnie Walker IV and Austin Reeves. These guys have both been really good for the Lakers this year, but somehow I was able to get Chris Paul, giving us a legitimate third star next to LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Next, it was time to trade Thomas Bryant and Damian Lee, who I had just gotten Damian Lee from the Suns, and I was able to get Clint Capella and Jalen Johnson. A pretty solid trade. The next move was trading Clint Capella and Patrick Beverly. We've already got Miles Turner, and somehow I was able to get Klay Thompson and a Warriors first. Don't know what the Warriors were really thinking with that one, but we'll take it. Next, I'm packaging together Dennis Schroeder and Jalen Johnson. We were able to get Emmanuel quickly, a good young guard, but I wasn't done there. I looked at trading Emmanuel quickly, and I was able to get Kevin Porter Jr., who I considered trading for earlier on in the video, but this time, it just made too much sense, and I pulled the trigger on that deal. After looking at some smaller trades, I decided to try and look at a big Chris Paul trade. I know we had just gotten him, but I thought maybe I could make a big upgrade. Ultimately, I didn't really see any Thing, so I decided to keep him around. After looking at a ton of potential roster moves I could make, I added Javante Green and Goran Dragic and pretty much called it a day from there and looked to free agency to fill out the rest of my roster. There were some solid options available. I went after Earl Jenkins, who I've signed in a ton of these videos. He's a solid 78 overall player, so I thought, why not? And I also signed Lance Stevenson, and that was pretty much it for the free agency signings. Our roster looks good. I did need to move around some positions to make sure everything worked. We had less than 30 seconds left of time at this point, so I was just trying to make these changes really quickly, and that was pretty much it. I realized after that I should have kept Kevin Porter Jr. as a point guard, but the five minutes for the rebuild were over, so I didn't really have any time to make changes. That was it for the rotation. I think our team looks really good, but it's going to be tough to turn around the season considering where we started at. And also, if you enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. Anyways, let's keep this season going and see if we can turn around the year and win an NBA championship. Already by the All-Star break, we're over 500, and considering we started at 13 and 20, that's no easy feat. And also, LeBron James and AD were All-Star starters. They were doing a good job leading the team. As a result of that, we were sitting at 45 and 32 with the season almost over, and we were able to win 47 games. A really good season considering where we started at. Now, AD did end up getting poked in the eye, so he's day to day going into the playoffs. But hopefully we'll be able to be okay. Hopefully he can fight through that one. LeBron was All-NBA 3rd. AD was All-NBA 2nd. Clay played well for us. KPJ played well. Chris Paul only averaged about 12 a game, but he was giving us almost 10 assists. Miles Turner only averaged a little over 11, considering we traded two first. That's a bit underwhelming, but Earl Jenkins was hooping for us out of free agency. So was Boogie. His efficiency wasn't great, but hey, he was giving us about 10 a game. And we're facing the Warriors, who we took Clay from in the first round. We get off to an early 2-0 start. We get up 3-0, and the Mavs, they're up 3-0 on the one-seeded Grizzlies as we get out of the first round to face the number eight-seeded Dallas Mavericks led by Luka Doncic. Any momentum they had coming off of that upset was absolutely destroyed by us as we end up beating them in a gentleman's sweep, and we're facing the Phoenix Suns in the conference finals. Was Chris Paul the problem in Phoenix, or was he the problem for this team? Because we get swept by the Phoenix Suns without CP3. What happened? Eight turnovers in game four, the final game of the series. Eight turnovers. His turnovers went up to almost four a game in the playoffs. Absolutely terrible. We lose. It's a Suns Bulls finals, and DeMar DeRozan is the finals MVP. I don't even know, man. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff. Have a good day. Bye.